here we go. We had a super gap on Apple. The previous day's close was 517. We were shorting it in pre-market right up around 530.50 and 531 and some change. We hit a low of 163 lows. The time is 638. We've been open eight minutes. The thing about this live trade here is, is how it's going to come down and hit. It's already putting in a bottom. He gaps it up to 1.29 ratio. That was 20.61 teenies. That was $11.62 gap. How to sell short that gap? The diamonds are descending. We're going to put that bottom in down in here. And we're going to look to see exactly how it will hold at 523.50 and or this bottom as the IR changes from zero and it goes through its bottom. We short this thing every single morning all week of this week and many other times. And you short it in pre-market above the high of the opening print. And you buy back in different stages and you get long at the bottom and we're at an 18, we're at a 20, we're at 0 0.88, 0 0.79 is the low. That's how this double diamond will hold that low. And once again, this is what it looks like on that short, breaking the half bars and coming down. And he's still lower because this is on zero. And there's a ways to go. But once again, Apple Computer will be short every single morning. And we're going to come to that 523.50 area that I talk about. The 523.50 area that I'm talking about. And here he is right now. And we've only been open 10 minutes. And we're going to 523.75. I said 523.50 now. And where does that 523.50 come into play? It comes into play right here. Let me go ahead and blow this part of it up. Here he comes. He's right here at that line. That was yesterday's reversal high where we sold short. This is a wonderful trade. Now, as we fill in where yesterday's high was on this teeny line, we're going to see if we break it or not. And they're printing at exactly 523.33. And 523.50 is a key, and I'm going to take a small entry right here because this is where it faded yesterday. So what am I going to do? As it comes right down in here, I'll start adding 200 shares. The thing about it is you got a weak IR. It's not on zero. We hit a low of 0 0.67. That's 7.2. That's $6.47 still positive. We have exactly 2.6 million shares traded, and we have that bottom in Houston. Now, he hit that lower end, but he's right there at that 523.50 area. That is the first support area, if we, and, we're gonna, and we're long that trade, but I'll tell you what. We only took a light entry. Why? Because we're still in the bottoming phase. We hit 0 0.67 here. We're at 0 0.75. 1.29 was $11.62 gap. And we're going to take that money out of it. And the stop market order will be one. It'll be 523.10. That will be the stop market order. Because if he breaks that down and this stays weak, the next entry will be here. We could come down. This is where the lower teeny line is yesterday, uh, where the breakdown was, right here where my pointer is, right here where this bar is. This is the first pass. He's there. This is going to be two teenies lower, comes right across here. This is where that downside bar was yesterday. He's got a green bar. So we'll stay in that long position. It's going to have to get above this half bar before we start adding or accumulating any more. Now, let's take a look and see in the brain. We're at 18. 6.7 is a low. He's currently at 7.9. And this is an opening bell. How to short an opening bell and then buy at support and go back up and keep the stop market orders and know that in our platform that this particular line was the first support level. This is where we were getting short yesterday. The next teeny line down Two teenies down is going to be another area of where the actual breakdown started and finished it. So this is going to be that other area, and that's going to be 522. So the next limit order would be 522.25.